Jo with StampingJo.com and today I wanted to show you this really fun card that I made using the sheltering tree stamp set and a watercoloring technique. So let's get started. So to make this card we have four different pieces of cardstock. So we have the early espresso in five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score it at four and a quarter. The Mary Merlot cut to four by five and a quarter. And then we have the watercolor paper, which is cut to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I have a very vanilla piece of cardstock that is cut to half an inch by three and a quarter. We're gonna start with our early espresso ink pad with the tree that comes in the stamp set. The stamp set is so much fun. You can actually stamp lots of different projects, lots of different seasons with it as well. And considering that it's fall right now, I chose to make a fall card. So I'm just going to first stamp that on my cardstock. Give it nice even pressure, especially in the middle, to make sure that you stamp that whole tree on there. Okay. And then we're going to still use this color with the ground. So I'm going to take this stamp here, again using it with our early espresso ink, and we're going to create kind of a ground effect and you can stamp a few different times like that to create a little bit more color I want it a little bit more all right I think that's good and then we are going to do the flowers or the leaves in different colors so this one here we're going to do in Mary Merlot kind of the nice beautiful reddish fall colors I can see them out my window right now. I love fall. It is really beautiful. The colors are gorgeous and I'd like to go for a walk soon, probably in Gatineau, with my family to look at all the fall leaves because that is such a nice highlight of what you can do in fall. So when you're stamping this, you can stamp it a few different times to have kind of different colors of that same ink pad. And we're going to take our aqua painter. Now, you have to be a little bit careful with this technique because you don't really want to go very wet on the early espresso color because you don't want that one to be watercolored. You're more wanting the leaves to be watercolored. So we're going to take our aqua painter and just lightly put water in between. Now this one seems to have a lot of water so I'm just going to take some off and just go in between all of your branches. And see how with that watercolor paper it's starting to look like a really nice watercolored look. So get that all done. It's going to take you a little bit of time to get that done, especially if you're being careful and trying not to touch that early espresso too much. So you can see I've already done half of the tree and look at how beautiful that starts to look versus just having it the stamp. So it's a nice different technique that you can use. If you haven't used an aqua painter yet, they come two to a set. You just put water in the barrel and then you just squeeze it out until you get some water onto the paint-like tip here. If you find there's too much water, just take a paper towel or just your fingers like I'm doing and take some of that water off. So I'm gonna finish up this tree. Okay, so I've done the water coloring. And the next step that we're going to do is we are going to take that half inch by three and a quarter piece of very vanilla. And I have my thankful for you greeting that I'm just going to stamp in Mary Merlot. And we're just going to get that stamped. It is really tight on this piece of cardstock, but it does fit. All right, so there we go. And now we just have to start to assemble. So before we assemble, we have this beautiful um, twine that comes in crumb cake that I thought looked really nice with this. The twine actually comes as part of our Nature's Twine set and it has four different colors of twine that you get and they are Mint Macaroon, Blackberry Bliss, Grateful Grove and Crumb Cake. So for this one, we're just gonna use the crumb cake and I just tied a knot just a simple little knot on the left hand side of where I want it to be okay like that and I kind of want it to be like halfway between the tree and the corner I'm just gonna grab my scissors and then we're going to just cut that 
so that we're going to tie the ends to the bottom. Now to do, or to the back, sorry. So to do that, just kind of hold it into place about here and loop behind. My favorite way to do this is to use our tear tape because it is so sticky and it is really great to keep things in place. So I'm gonna use some tear tape here. Just make sure it's nice and tight. And then go to the front, make sure you've got it nice and straight. So about there, hold it. And then, oops, I moved it. <laughs> Okay, so put that there, and then you can just adjust it a little bit. I don't need these tails, so I'm just going to trim those off. And all that's left is to assemble. So we're going to take our Early Espresso, line it up, use our bone folder to get our nice crease so that it folds nicely into a card. I actually took the Mary, Le I can't speak now, Mary Merlot. Um, cardstock and I ran it through the the big shot using the pine wood planks embossing folder now this is so pretty you can see all of that beautiful texture and it was just really fitting for this card that had a tree on it because it's texture sometimes if you just use snail it can pop off so I'm just gonna use some tear tape on all four corners and it's gonna keep it really good into place and when you have the backing all off, we're going to place that on top. The next layer that we're going to do, I'm actually going to put a little bit of adhesive to this part on the back of snail adhesive because the left hand side of the cardstock, I want it to be glued onto my paper. Actually place it on top of your card because I made the mistake the other day that I had it kind of too far hanging over and we want it to be on the card. Okay, so glue like that. And then we're going to take our dimensionals. And I placed four dimensionals on all the corners. And then I took one more and just placed it on that tab part like that. Once you have that all done, all that's left to do is to add that to the card and you have this beautiful fall card. If you have fall leaves where you live, you know what I mean. Those colors are so pretty. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this card today and I will see you soon. Have a great day.